Shalom Akim. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, and Kakwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom to the elect. And um, today's lesson I want to get into is ascribe ye greatness unto the Lord. Okay? And it goes by way of Deuteronomy 32. And it says, Give ear, O ye heavens, and I will speak and hear, O earth, the words of my mouth. My doctrine shall drop. My doctrine shall drop as the rain. My speech shall distill as the dew, as the small rain upon the tender herb, and as the showers upon the grass, because I will publish the name of Yahweh, ascribe ye greatness unto our power. You know, and um, this really goes for us, you know, because we have the perfect understanding that the Lord kills, he makes alive, you know, he saves us out of destruction. And um, we're going to come to the time to where a lot of people are going to denounce their faith, you know, because they only ascribe greatness to the Lord as far as prosperity goes. But in time of affliction, where they still ascribe greatness unto the Lord? I doubt I doubt it. You know, I highly doubt it. You know, they'll ascribe it to Satan as if the Lord don't control Satan. You know? But in the scriptures it tells us in the book of Job, alright, that Satan comes and bows himself to the Heavenly Father. You know, Satan gets orders and um he receives advice from the Heavenly Father. So how is it that you know, you're giving power to Satan when bad things happen. Like the Lord told Job. I mean, the, uh, Job told uh, his wife, shall we receive evil, good from the hand of the Lord and not evil? I doubt it. I think not. You know? So, Yahweh Hashim, Yahweh Shai, you know, he has the power to heal. All right? He has the power to kill. You know? There's many times in the scriptures where Yahweh, uh, you know, he reminds, he reminds us that he was the one that brought us out of Egypt. You know, when all hell breaks loose, he's he's always with us. You know, and uh, us for the elect, you know, we are gonna remember that. Okay, now we're ascribed, Salakia, meaning provide. All right, to grant. To permit Okay So we're going to permit greatness Into Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai And the word greatness Meaning magnificent Okay Another word for that Will be gratitude You know Promote gratitude until Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai You know That's as if you know, you were locked down, which that's literally what happened to our people. You know, you were in slavery, hardcore bondage. All right. You could liken that into being in jail. You know, here it is. Every you eating shitty food, you know, you being treated like shit. You know, it's just every day is a nightmare to you. And then one day the Lord raises up a man. All right. Who. The Most High raised up a man, Moses, all right, who, you know, stands up for you, all right, um, and that's, you know, that's, that's, what's the word I'm looking for? You know, that's a sigh of relief, you know, like when, Israel, you know, Jake is in jail now, and, you know, people... You may have somebody call you or write to you or put money on your commissary or, you know what I'm saying? That's that's actually a sigh of relief. Like, hey, I'm not doing this by myself. You know, so this is what the Lord has done before. And this is what he's going to do again when he brings you our shot back, our salvation, our savior. Okay, the scriptures say ye should not be consumed. All right, the scriptures say unless the Lord have left 
unto us some remnant, we should have been at Sodom and Gomorrah, meaning completely destroyed. Okay. So read it on. It says, he is the rock. His work is perfect. For all his ways are judgment, a God of truth and without iniquity, just and right is he. Okay. So no matter what happens, just and right is Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Okay. Just and right is Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Baruch chapter 4. Verse um, 27. Be of good comfort, O my children, and cry unto God, for ye shall be remembered of him that brought these things upon you. Okay, because it's all a learning lesson. But, um, you know, if you have learned your lesson, the Lord will take you out of uh, captivity. But if not, well, hey, as the scriptures say, they that consent unto them, you know, shall be had in derision. All right. And what I mean by learning a lesson is going after these other gods and forsaking Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. You know, and if you haven't learned that lesson, you know, uh, well, hey, you're just going to meet the various plagues that the Lord has for you here, ending off with a nuclear missile. For as it was your mind to go, uh, a okay, yeah, verse 28. For as it was your mind to go straight from God, so being returned, seek him ten times more. For he that brought these plagues upon you, Shall bring you everlasting joy with your salvation. Okay. So he's not going to, only going to come and visit you. He's going to come and visit you and deliver you. You know. Take a good heart, O Jerusalem. For he that gave thee that name will comfort thee. Okay. Because the end of us shall be peace. The end of us shall be peace. Miserable are they that afflicted thee, which Jerusalem, meaning city of peace, Yerushalayim, you know, Yerah, city, uh, Shalom is peace. Miserable are they that afflicted thee and rejoice at thy fall. Miserable are the cities which thy children serve. Miserable is she that received thy sons. For as she rejoiced at thy ruin and was glad of thy fall. So shall she be grieved of her, for her own desolation. For I will take away the rejoicing of her great multitude, and her pride shall be turned into mourning. You know, and that which this devil uh, prides itself on, you know, be you, you know, uh, uh, lawlessness, that's going to be turned into this place's iniquity, America's iniquity, and really all the places where we are scattered, because all the places where we are scattered, in some way, shape, or form, has drunken, you know, the punch, so to speak, um, that this this uh, place has to, had to offer. You know, the scriptures even say that I believe in was that the book of Jeremiah fifty. You know, Let's see, look it up real quick. Nations are mad. Yep, Jeremiah 51 and 7. Babylon have been a golden cup in Yahweh's hand that made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunken of her wine, therefore the nations are mad. Okay. So reading back at Baruch 4. Baruch 4. For I will take away the rejoicing of her great multitude, and her pride shall be turned into mourning. For fire shall come upon her from the everlasting long to endure. 
and she shall be inhabited of devils for a great time. All right, so that's going to be the end of this place. This is why we can't take this place serious. You know? This is why we can't take this place serious. Nor can you take, you know, these different treaties, you know, because here it is. You have, on one hand, you know, it's looking like peace and safety. I just seen something the other day that uh, I believe Biden, uh, was it Biden or Russia implemented a new start program, which is basically a, uh, you know, lengthened the, uh, the IMF treaty. All right. But on the other hand, all right, what's going over there in Crimea and um, Iran and Israel, you know, we see that World War Three is still going to ramp up no matter how many treaties or, you know, um, so-called things to quell World War Three. Oh, Jerusalem, look about thee toward the east, Slakia, for fire shall come upon her from the everlasting long to endure, and she shall be inhabited of devils for a great time. O Jerusalem, look about thee toward the east, and behold the joy that cometh unto thee from God. You know, and this is why we have to ascribe greatness to the Lord, because with all the destruction that's going to happen to all, you know, the Lord is still going to deliver us. Okay, the scripture said, thousands shall fall at thy right side, but none evil shall touch thee. Uh, um, Job 5, Psalms 91. O Jerusalem, look about thee toward the east, and behold the joy that cometh unto thee from God. All right, which is how Yahweh Shah is coming back with the multitude of angels. Lo, thy sons come, whom thou sentest away. They come gathered together from the east to the west, because we were scattered. As Isaiah 11, 11, by the word of the Holy One, rejoicing in the glory of God. Okay. Hey, so with that, just some quick in the spirit. You know, don't don't have fickle faith is basically the point of this lesson. With that, Shalom to the elect.